Hey everybody, uh, my name is Cindy Bloom and in this video I am going to show you how you can use your free PicMonkey account to save images. I've had a few questions about how you do that. So right now you can see that I'm not logged into my account uh, and if this is a, the free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose an image from my computer that I would like to brand to myself. Okay, so in this particular one, I, uh, in previous videos, I've showed you how you can add a border. In this particular picture, I can just actually uh, add my own text and put it in a text box under Just Ask. Okay, so I'm just going to, for this purposes, add a text box. I may choose the text that I want. I usually go with Ariel, and I hit Add Text. And what you're going to see is a text box going to pop up on here click on the text box and add your information. Um, call Cindy at 847-868-0702. Okay, and then I can, you, when you put your cursor over the image, you can actually, excuse me, drag it to wherever it is you want. And in this case, I'm gonna just wanna make it a little bit bigger so it's all on one line. And I'm going to put it right here. And look, it's a little bit too big. So over on the sides here, on the in your text box, you can make it just a little bit smaller so that it fits nicely. And if I want to make it bold, I can. If I want to change the color, I can. But I'm just going to leave it for the purposes of this video right there and say that I am ready to save. So. The way you save is you, I had said export, and that's what um, I was able to do with a Premiere account. But if you don't have one, I just want to show you, you just go to hit the share button. And, you know, you're going to just get your free account. I don't know if this is going to allow me to do this. Maybe it will. Okay. So continue with Cindy. I just logged in. This is not the regular account that I have. So I don't have a premium account here. This is exactly what I have. So right now, um, it's a regular account. It's free. I just had to literally log in. So right now, what it says that you can do um, is uh, email it. So this is what I did to myself so that it worked. I hit email. Um, I put uh, that I want to email it to uh, Bloomer78 or whatever I want, okay, and it's going to say do it. Okay, this is the part, okay, so the, the image went, okay, so it's being sent, but now what's really cool is um, it says share this in more places. So if you click on share this in more places, actually, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So we'll go again, we'll hit share. Um, I'm going to go over to my email because I sent it to myself. So let me open up my email, see that I got it. Okay, here is my PicMonkey image that came. So here it is right here. Um, view full size image. It's right here. So now when you go and view this full size image, this little button right here will allow you to download it to your computer. So here, I've now saved it, this PicMonkey image, to my computer. So if I go to my computer, it most likely goes to my download. But here it is, PicMonkey image. And that's how I saved it. So again, what I did using the free trial is I made my image. Okay, here is my image. I hit share. I sent it to myself in an email. Okay, I then went to my email, opened it up, and then clicked this button that says view full size image. And when you get there, you may download it on your computer. You can share it Facebook, you could share it to Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and whatever. However, like I said, um, these um, I would suggest putting these out in, as flyers rather than 
putting them out on social media. So that's my tip for you guys today. For those of you who are wondering how to save them, taking a screenshot shot is great. But for print purposes, the screenshot may not look as crisp as when you do it this way. This is Cindy Bloom giving you some value. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more information, tutorials, and some just basic inspiration. Have a fantastic day. Use PicMonkey, and yes, stay inspired.